Hola, bonjour and hello. This is Europe Calling, live from Stockholm. I said right down to Australia. All the people around the world, yeah, yeah. Gonna have a crazy party. Come and join the fun. Only happens once a year. Can you feel the atmosphere? Europe's calling, Europe's calling. Funny songs to scream and shout. That is what we dream about. Europe's calling, Europe's calling. Stockholm may be hosting, but let's take a look at all the facilities on offer to help the fans and press get the best possible Eurovision experience yet. First step is to course pick your accreditation in the conveniently located accreditation office just next to the press centre. Once inside you'll see the sitting area, followed by the huge press centre in all its Eurovision glory. And when needed you can retreat to the warmly lit restaurant. And finalising the first day, we chat to a few fans about their experiences and thoughts on SVT's running of Stockholm 2016. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm Alicia. My name is Carl. Now, why have you decided to come the fan experience for Eurovision? Uh, well, I'm a member of the uh, Swedish fan club, Melody Festival Club, and I have a lot of free time right now. So, um, yeah, this is why. And I also uh, uh, reporting for the fan club. Well, um, I'm a radio host in Washington, D.C., so America, and we don't have any track record with talking about Eurovision, but now it's going to be broadcasted in the States. It's the big news. Um, and I have my own vlog and write for ESC+. Very good. And what about you? Yes, I'm from the German fan club OGAE, and I do for the video blog uh, videos and such things, and also reporting for our uh, Zeitschrift. What's the name of the Zeitschrift? Please help me. Why? I don't know. For, I, uh, for our news, you know, there is the, it's laying over there. It's your oil voice. How are you finding Stockholm so far? Uh, great, very sunny and bright, and they promise good weather for the whole two weeks, which is fantastic. It's a shame that we're locked up in here, but <laughs> a very welcoming city for this event. Yeah, I've been to Stockholm before. This is my third time here, so I'm excited to be back for sure, and especially be back for Eurovision. I've been also several times in Stockholm, also to the song contest in 2000. I've been in the Globen, and uh, so I like Stockholm very, very much. Been around the world. How are you finding SVT's hosting so far? Are you excited, happy? Do you think they're doing a good job so far? Uh, yes, I must say. Um, communication has been very good, information has been good. Um, uh, yes, I'm, I'm satisfied. <laughs> I yeah. Think yeah, I think it's been really organized. I, I think that's one thing that you can expect from Swedes for sure is organization and definitely hasn't been anything less than that. Yes, I think the same. It's very good organized and perfect. So, so far, so good. Let's see how the next two weeks plan out. To all three of you, thank you so much and all the best. Have a great time. Thank you. Hey guys, we need music for tonight's show. What can we do? Betty Beyond's not here. Could you be able to fill in? Maybe, I don't know. You have, you have a guitar with you, right? Yeah, I can play a couple of chords, so I think we can work something out. All right, cool. See you. We will return with Steph and Dennis later on in the show to see if they can get us some music. But in the meantime, here's a montage of all the performances and interviews with the artists from semi-final one. Russia proved why they're favourite to win. Armenia become a serious contender for victory. Czech Republic captivated us with I Stand. And Cyprus gained strong reaction from press. It's great to be back. Absolutely wonderful. I feel like I feel like I was here yesterday. <laughs> but there's a lot of content missing still. And uh, you will see that 
at the next rehearsal. So maybe you'll even have a disappearing Greta on stage. What makes this song better? Um, well, they're, they're both very close to my heart, but this song is very dynamic. It's very soulful. It's very deep. Um, when I heard it the first time, I knew it belonged to me. So, you know, the, the fact that the song became, um, uh, b belonged to its, you know, rightful kind of owner as a singer um, uh, was, was something that drew me to it. So I think that is what's better about Walk on Water. Yesterday I was like a casual uh, style, but it will be a really nice dress in the avant-garde style. It's easier for us to choose our artists abroad. In particular, we had this, uh, we'd like to be more international. And finalizing tonight's episode is Stephen Dennis going to perform an acoustic cover of Every Song is a Cry for Love. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> for love Every voice can arise above So don't be afraid Just show what you're made of Sing it out Every song is a cry for love Every day is a brand new start Every night you could fall apart Any time you die the truth that's in your heart Sing it out Every song is a cry for love Being strong, being tough And that's all from us this week. Thank you for joining us and we'll be rejoined next week by Ali Lindo and Big Betty Beyond. Until then, au revoir, adios and take care.